at Hamburgum Bistro. This right here is the goulash. Been wanting to try this. This is one of the meals that I've wanted to try in all of Hungary. We're gonna walk through this market and just check it out and we'll see what they have inside. I guess this is like Budapest version of the Bocaria Mercat in Barcelona. They got meat stores, they got vegetables, fruits, and everything here. And it's actually huge. It looks like a kind of like a train station in a way. Making our way upstairs. It seems like there's a flea market up here. I'm gonna walk around and check it out. This is like a really cool flea market. Um, just picked up a shirt for Madi, a pig for mom, and a couple magnets and a shot glass for me. See what they order, and this is their daily offer. It's stripes of beef with lecho, Hungarian vegetables. That looks really good. I might get that. This is all Hungarian wine, and that's the menu. The Sauvignon Blanc. That's okay. it. Thank you. So I got the Sauvignon Blanc, some hot spicy sauce. We're here at Hungargum Bistro, and I got this to start. It's a bread cake with sour cream, and the sour cream is like really sour and good. It's a nice thing to start off with. And this is their hot Hungarian chili. Can't wait to try that. And the Sauvignon Blanc. Cheers. This right here is the goulash. Been wanting to try this. This is one of the meals that I've wanted to try in all of Hungary. It's got like little chunks of beef and carrot. Really good. It's almost like a beef minestrone, but it's like authentic. And it's got some lentil beans and some other stuff. It's good. My buddy over here gave us some milk for the cat. <laughs> The special main course it has potatoes, um, beef mixed with some Hungarian vegetables. It looks really good. I had to get it. It's special is look at that hot sauce. I got hot sauce in my bag. Swag. Mm. Those are the owners. They have pictures of the old stuff. So the main dish was superb. Like the beef is really good and it had some spice to it. And it's actually like a family owned restaurant. And um, Ishtan, um, he hooked me up. I didn't have a reservation and he got me in. He's one of the owners. Um, he owns it with his sisters. Um, and this stuff is good. Like, I love spiciness. So this is perfect for me. So if you're looking for homemade family Hungarian food in Budapest, come here to Hungaricum Bistro. Definitely fills you up. I struggled. You gotta take your time here. Make sure you get a reservation before you come here. And um, yeah, you gotta try this when you're in Budapest. It's definitely worth going to. This is the uh, after dinner shot. 50% uh, alcohol. Cheers. Thanks for a great meal. <sighs> that was good. Thank you. Strong shot. So this is Istan, and you are the owner, and uh, thanks for having me, it was great. Um, your food is awesome, your family recipe was great, and you gotta come here when you're in Budapest. Thank you. 
is this guy? Boy. Mari, what's up, bro? You good? Nice mustache. Reminds me of Mari, especially with the belly. Just right behind me is a basilica in the middle of Pest. It's uh, one of the most famous places to visit when here in Budapest. It almost feels like every city's got a Ferris wheel like that. Is lit at the light show. It's lit at the light show. This looks like a cool area to chill in in front of that Ferris wheel. And we got a little park here too. we are in Eastern Europe but like the streets are well lit in the main areas so at night really doesn't feel that unsafe but um, always have your eyes out and uh, make an effort for safety. Mm -hmm. 